delivered by train from their military academy to the front lines of a war, wherein they fail to complete their objective and are chased back to their academy by a giant spider robot. What? <laughs> the reference flew away over my head. Someone will get it, eventually. One of the worst, greatest games in history? Greatest worst? We'll figure it out later. Uh, compute glory for the year. It sounds like most of you have already finished glory computation. But I'm not really uh, doing much for this year, so... Did anyone pass a thousand? Uh, yes. Civ? Just, just barely. Uh, does the first thousand count? Yes. Okay. Cool. I will put this into battle. As oh I have been researching God. such texts. You're so right. Someone just sent me a message saying, obviously, that dude from the west part of the continent needs to show up. Holy shit, the one who wants to kill Aidwald? <laughs> uh, what was his name again? Thank you, viewers. Oh, man, this is happening now. What was his name? Orcus! Yeah! <laughs> Orcus is invading Gales? He's already... Yeah, he's going against Estragales. Holy shit, yeah. And that's just west of... Uh... Oh, man. And that would put... Could you... Listen, I know it's hard to see visually, but imagine it this way. The Orcus is in the west part of Britain, Ale is in the east, and Serdic is in the south. And in the middle is Riddichan, Silchester, and Salisbury. And all three of those counties are proxies for a different outer power now. <laughs> and in from the west rolls Orcus like, man, I want to kill that Aidwald and Marcus. Just need to eliminate them. Gone. Take out their family trees, kill all their descendants. <laughs> they killed our king, yo. At least that's word on the street. Wow, man, that might happen now. I'm psyched as hell. Nothing like a four way battle? Alright, uh, what did you guys put your 1,000 barriers into? Nothing, because I didn't reach it. Or sword. Battle. I'm still under two thousand. Well, yeah, I, I know you're not you're not sermon and you're not getting like three thousand a year for killing a half dozen Saxons. Getting Those six crits over... in one battle and it's a huge size battle and you win the fight. <laughs> hey, it was <laughs> we were Listen, it I you know what? Clean I feel like you're kind of vanilla playing him. He's not as, like, Sermon was basically like, I kill everything, kill everything, kill everything. And then, he comes up against one dude with the same amount of skill as he does, and he's like, boom, I explode, instantly. <laughs> I feel like Colleen is a much more middle ground fighter, where it's not like, oh, I instantly die or instantly kill everyone on my path. Well, that's, that's only, like, it's, that's because he's only been here for, like, one year. Oh, Oh, so we're building back up for that? We're still looking at Sermon 2.0. It's coming. It's coming, man. Alright, alright. Oh, I'll enjoy oh. I'll enjoy the calm years while I can. Hopefully I'll be able to support you to the best maybe of my I'll ability. Just keep, maybe like you've been doing, you'll just keep killing them quick enough that they can't do anything. The Battle of the Five Armies. <laughs> yeah, it's the Battle of the Five Armies, but no eagles show up. <laughs> Oh. You are evil. <laughs> I blame chat, man. They want you guys to die. They want you guys to die in a fire. Don't we do that enough for you people? <laughs> Don't we die enough? <laughs> yeah, haven't you guys suffered enough at the hands of chat? <clears throat> Alright. Cool. Um, Did you guys want to move ahead into the next year without an Ash? Or do you want to call it early tonight? I don't know what your morale level is at right now. Uh, why don't we get a sense of what's going on? Okay, that's reasonable. That's a reasonable request. I might have to rewrite oh. some of the the intro People stuff. People should uh, remember to roll for do experience rolls for your wives as well. If you have a wife, which I don't think anyone <laughs> does. I do. Ella went off to work at a bakery somewhere. Okay. A royal bakery. Uh, Countess Ellen's court is held at Serum this year. Your special guests are Prince Sinric of Wessex and Prince Mark, who seeks hirelings. 
Mm. Uh, we go to a familiar looking bench outside Serum Castle, where instead of there only being three women, there's now a dozen of them all outside knitting. At last that evil old wizard is gone. I, for one, could not be happier. I'll never understand why those knights defended him at all, or why even the king tolerated him. Well, he did seem evil, didn't he? The queen's baby snatched away. You know, I'll be that the rumors surrounding Prince Maldock having a son were true, too. But the Merlin snatched him away as well. He must secretly hate the Pendragons. I'm not so sure. He must have had some reason. Oh, yes! And maybe the devil will be your friend, right? We've had enough trouble without the son of the devil. Well, you know those pretty outfits that the Lady and Maids of Vagon are wearing from Cornwall? King Idres is getting pretty powerful, and the prince is handsome and well-spoken. Maybe we ought to tell the Countess we like him. Ha! As if our words were matter, with Aidwald in charge. <laughs> so, uh, you have two special guests, Sinric and Mark of Idris. The Countess is available for discussion. There is some intrigue going on, and there's a lot of discussion involving the name of Aidwald. Yeah. There's also two messengers from afar. One is from Yegant, and the other is from Idris. What would you guys like to do? So, you know, and it's the it's the normal, you know, Pentecostal feast with you know various meats stuffed inside other meats, freshly baked breads. Uh, there's it's super empty though. Like, normally there'd be a lot of music and laughter and talking. Instead, there are a lot of women and not a lot of men. And there's a lot of empty bench spaces. Normally, the women would be serving all the men, but there's literally more, more, way more women than men. So, they've, like, co-opted a whole corner of the room. And the men are, like, spaced out with two or three seats in between them. So, um... A sort of a vision for how Aidwald is at the start of this year. So, despite the fact that he had his other, all of his kids, etc., live in luxury, he has spent the, he bought a uh, hermitage and basically a hermit cave, and he has lived in that over the winter in sort of sackcloth and penance. He's been like drinking water, and so he is sitting in the hall in that sackcloth, and he's just has water and like. This miserly uh, gruel that he is limiting himself to in, in penance for his... Awesome. So what happens is Sir Germain the dragon arrives and, like, puts... Smashes his fist on the table in front of you and it actually, like, the wood groans and there's probably, like, a crack where his fist hit. And uh, he, like, slaps you in the face, Sir Aidwald, and, like demands you he doesn't like say it but he like looks directly at you and tries to make eye contact i certainly do after that okay he's like aidwald why are you doing this i have heard that you retreated to your estate you lead this county now with sasha god it was a glorious battle i won much honor and killed many of my brothers there will be more glad a battle for the years to come you should be glad the gods themselves will rain blood from the heavens, and when Ragnarok shall come, all in Valhalla shall speak our names. You have earned us a place in the end courts. Do not lose it with your womanish crying. Ha 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 ha! And then he slaps you on the back. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, he's, in a, he's a very modest um, sort of guy. He's just taken it. Yeah, he's, he's just like, come on, snap out of it, man. Where's the Aidwald I once knew? Who stood for things? Who wanted to kill Saxons? And, I don't know, Druids or something. I didn't follow oh. your petty religious differences. Now they tell me you sit in your underwear in a cave drinking water. Come now, let us have water and wine. And bread besides. So, <laughs> believe me, Germain. I will slay many a Saxon this coming year. Now is simply cleansing myself for the upcoming battle. But I must cleanse myself of the sins so that 
I am not cursed again as I was at our last match. Yeah, he's just like, wow, that's just terrible to hear. Listen, we attacked. We attacked. Remember that. They will remember that at the Battle of London, we attacked. We did not slink away in the night. And he's like trying to pick you up. He's like, the only thing you need to cleanse yourself with is the blood of your enemies. Come, man. And he puts down a flagon of mead in front of you. Drink of this honeyed wine. It is from my homeland. The place that we will call Germany, but is not currently called Germany. It's just called the Rhine Forest. Ah! Drink of it! To the deaths of many of our enemies. All right. Yeah. You're drinking it? Yeah, he's just like, yep. yes! He does it to all the knights in the room. He's like, yes! Aidwald is back! <laughs> I feel like a new Aidwald is back. A very, I don't know. very angry Aidwald. Uh, that sounds like the same Aidwald to me, because you were the one proposing to kill all of the <laughs> pagans. So. Yeah. <laughs> Just a different outlet. Yeah. yeah. A better outlet. Kill all of the Saxons. With the help of the pagans. <laughs> um, yeah, what are you guys doing after Jermaine the Dragon? Like, he sits there and keeps eating with you, and like keeps ordering more wine and more giant heaps of meat. From which he can feast from. What are the rest of you doing? My post is there. Oh, so seeking information. Wow, you have a twenty places. entry going to start in character. That's crazy shit. My family has connections. Wait, yeah, of that course it possible. does. <laughs> the family connections. I asked the uh, Eric about it. His fa his family bonus is plus ten oh, okay. entry. That's why. Yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah. So, obviously you get the intrigue that everyone hates Aidwald right now. Uh, but you also hear, who do you go to for information? I also posted that, a uh, the less glorious of sources within the court. Yeah, okay. And maidens and servers. Um, probably like one of the low-ranking handmaidens. You know what? It's probably the one that you're hanging out with, right? And paying under the table? Mm. What's her name? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Table and all over. Hega. Hega? Yeah. Yeah, so Hega arrives. What does she look like? Uh, appearance nine, so not like the best out there, but... Really? You have your choice of how to... Wow. I I mean, listen, I so feel like... Listen, give like... yourself a check to Modest, because this is a man who is paying for sex and is given the opportunity to describe the woman he's having sex with. And the first thing he says is she's of average appearance. Give yourself wow. a check to Modest. His, uh, he, did, he did grow up uh, listening to Dobbin a lot, so a lot about Crazy staying under the radar. Crazy old man in the woods with a knife? Yeah. Okay. Not as radical as him, but definitely doesn't want to be out there seeking too much glory when he's still, you know, not a very high-ranking knight. I know. You outrank most of the dead knights now. Because <laughs> they're dead. Uh, so she just looks like a plain English woman then? Yes. Nine? Yeah. She's pretty much your, you know, typical background character from any Pirates of the Caribbean movie. And she comes up and says, Ah, Saxon kings are competing against each other. If we're lucky, they'll kill each other off. The contenders all seem about equal. Four hateful kings. Ah, there's news of multiple armies on the move. They say Orcus in the west is prepared to make a run against some Saxon army or the other. I think she probably kisses you on the forehead and waits to see what you have to say. Mm, Orcus in the west. Anything from the south? Oh, from Cerdric. Well, why don't you ask Sinric? He's here. What what is the uh is there it's, any kind of subtlety for that kind of thing? Um in what way? In that kind of statement meant to oh, be Oh, you want her to ask Sinra? No, never never mind. Okay. It's so subtle the GM has missed it. Yeah. But that would be my response. Yeah. 
Um, she does give you like a kind of breakdown of what people know. The mm. Isle of Wight is uh, finally under control and is moving their naval forces to support an attack on London by Cerdric. He's basically decided to launch a Londonese battle using the Silchester, Salisbury, White, Wessex forces. Mm -hmm. He's going proactive. I'm, I'm actually taking notes with a little note with a little uh, parchment that I have out. Do you actually have the writing skill? Uh, the read, you mean? Do you have read? Yeah, read 10. Wow, okay. Yeah, you're a learned fucking man. You and Marcus should get together and just egghead it up. Well, trebuchet? I believe that was designed in the year 500. <laughs> it's called a Marcus and Sidmobile. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, she wanders off to continue doing some serving and maybe dance with a couple people. Mm. You know, but it's obviously... There's not a lot of people playing instruments because everyone's dead. So... You know, there's probably, like, one guy with a flute trying to play a jaunty tune, but it's being drowned out by someone in the corner singing songs of all of the dead people he knows. Yeah, in, like, a rich baritone, there's just a guy in the corner. He's probably, like, melancholy, mm -hmm. and all he does is, like, show up every night and sing of, like, all of the dead people from his battalion. Uh, after getting his information... Uh, Civ will most likely just kind of loom around the court listening, eavesdropping, and things like that. That's going to be really hard to do. Like, so many, so there's not nights. that many seats that aren't occupied, or yeah. that are occupied. So, like, when you move, like, ten seats down to listen to the conversation, someone's like, you want to come over and just join us? Yeah, it's hard to uh, <laughs> blend in. I mean, moving from place to place. Uh, yeah, it's still super empty. Uh, yeah, I guess you're not really that known. Like, if it was Aidwald, they might tell him to sh show up or, or leave, depending on which faction <laughs> they belong to. Uh, what are what is everybody doing now? Uh, probably just trying to cope with my complete impending, my complete loss at that battle. <laughs> it's yeah, no, that was not good for me <laughs> or his psyche. Uh, I guess he'll go make his uh, obeisance to uh, the Countess and then to the Prince. Okay, alright, you go to speak to the Countess. She is rather upset to see you. <laughs> I imagine so. <clears throat> so she puts her hand like this and says, Prince Mark says he can see we are beset. Perhaps if we have an alliance with him, Cornwall could help us out. He says, better a British lord than a Saxon ally. What do you think about that? Should we break our agreement with... with Sinric and Serdic and throw in with Cornwalls? Be a proper British alliance? I will follow your lead, my lady. I must say I question my own judgment in these times. She just rolls her eyes and is like, Ugh. Is there another knight who I can get advisement from? Sir Aidwald? <laughs> and she's purposely calling you Sir rather than Banneret. Like, she's, she's like, full of ice right now. Yes. Yeah. Like, is there, is there someone you would nominate to replace you as senior knight of the realm? <laughs> Sadly, the I would recommend Sir Marcus. He has not been touched. The, Marcus has not been seen all year. He disappeared from the battle to his estates with his siege engineer, and no one has seen him since. Anyone sending messages to his manor are turned away. Strange. Very well. I will keep my own counsel if my knights cannot advise me. You should know that Sinric is looking for us to reinvigorate our alliance. He says that if we ally with him, we need pay no tribute at all. 
If we march with his army this year, we will pay no tribute. You have an opinion on that? Only that our, uh, after the debacle of the last year, I fear the loss of more of our men. Perhaps the cost in gold would be worth what it can spare us and the cost of our few remaining. She subject. just like shakes her head and rolls her eyes like, where is Sir Callie? I need his advice. And let me pick a random person from the crowd. You there. And she points at Siv. Yeah. Come here. I need advisement from someone capable of speech. Uh, sure. You seem to be of a learned nature. What do you think we should do about Sir Nick and Sir Drick? Hmm. Sir Drick seeks uh, to use our forces at the expense of not having to pay tribute. And yes. uh, the other... Uh, sorry, I'm still. I was writing notes. Still trying yeah. to organize myself. So, Cedric, his off. Cedric, his offer this year is either pay double tribute, or pay no tribute and march with his army to the Battle of London. Uh, in March, and ah, then the other. It's against London. The yeah. other offer I'm is sorry. from Prince Mark. It's just a lie with Cornwall. They don't really have a strategic plan. They're just saying a lie with us, and we'll kill all the Saxons together. Which one is stronger militarily? Uh, easily the forces of the Wessex Saxons. Cornwall has been fighting for five years internally and has only just realigned itself. I did overhear Edwald, uh, Banner Edwald mentioning uh, that uh, he'd rather conserve our forces by not having to pay, or by paying gold instead. Uh, that she makes looks sense. at you and says, "Yes, he just said that right now, right in front uh, of you." Uh, keeping tabs on all the information, reiterating to make sure that everybody is okay. on the same page. Yeah, of course uh, you're nerding out, and she's super icy right now. Uh, I'm not really a Saxon hater, so whichever one leads to the loss of less forces is up for me. I agree with Adwell's decision. She turns to Sir Callan and says, "And you? Do you think we should stay here and?" Pay more debt? Kai? Uh, yes, sorry. Muted. Could you repeat that, please? Uh, she's asking if you want to stay here and pay double tribute, or to march with uh, the Saxons to war and pay no tribute. Actually, honestly, I would probably switch my vote because I didn't realize it was against London. But given it's against those people who just killed lots of us, I would love to kill them. Yeah. In which case, I will actually say no, no to that and say to conserve forces. Uh, by so the option is only double tribute or go to war with them. I sorry, I I was waiting for you guys to finish, but I'll go to war with them. Okay, so. <laughs> You quickly put your heads together, immediately turn around and say, Actually, we should go to war. And she's like, Well, then I guess we march to war. Shall I tell Prince Mark that we will not be allying with him this year, then? Yes. Um, it, it seems that you were, you were adamant on the war to begin with and didn't really want advisement. <laughs> she shakes her head and says, Eh. It is not I who is adamant for the war. There are many forces politically within the county that are pressing for war. We need to bring back raiding pillage, or the county may not survive. I know that this has never been a concern of any of you, but the county has lost a significant percentage of its peasantry. Food is scarce. Work is not being done. Roads are not being built. The best of men, the strongest, have all gone to war and died. And there are many unwed women who are left in my employ, whom I must find husbands for quickly before they drain the coffers of the county. So yes, war would be preferable to peace. Hmm. 
And you can see as she's saying that, she's like fidgeting with the cross she has around her neck. Has anyone seen my daughter Jenna? I have not seen her at this feast so far. Perhaps I can ask around for you. Maybe I'll find something. Indeed. I'll get to that then. Alright. What would you guys like to do? Siv will go around and ask uh, anybody that he can speak to if they've ever if they've heard of what has happened to Jenna, and for that matter, what has happened to Jenna. Um, if you like to roll intrigue, so now uh, for succeeds basic knowledge, right? You learn that Jenna has often been seen outside the castle. Um, yes, you you go to some random you know knights and handmaidens. And you get the same general information from all of them. Uh, probably you go first to, uh, let's say, Sir Allen. And Sir Allen's like, ha ha! Ah, uh, Sir uh, Blorps, is it? Sir Siv. Uh, Blorps, right. I recognize your family's coat of uh, arms, yes. All right, Blorps, listen up. I've got the information you're looking for. I've seen Jenna going to and from the forest over the last few days, whispering names beneath her breath. Been a lot of smoke coming out of that area for the last year or so. Some say that she's out there lighting a funeral pyre for her father and mourning the loss of all of those who have been lost. And he, he swallows hard when he does that and like he looks around. You notice his clothes are not quite as fine as they were in preceding years. And he doesn't have quite as large an entourage as he once did. Mm. I, the times have hit us all hard. I, uh... Admittedly, I don't really stand up uh, power-wise to my uncle. Of uh, course, Blorps. So, mm, Siv, thank you. Who was your uncle? Uh, oh, you're from Blorps. Your, your uncle was Steve. Her astute Sasha. Oh, 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 you're Sasha's nephew. Or, oh, no, see, right, got it, yes. Of course, my mistake. Uh, oh. Yeah, Sasha was a great man. I was there when he completely destroyed our entire line of battle. <laughs> and wow. I've been, I've been reading lost, up on that battle. Yeah, he's like, yes, I could tell you tales. He apparently went mad at the beginning of the battle and threw our entire lines into chaos. During the first charge, we lost hundreds of men across the field. My army was almost completely shattered as a... As a uh, I had to fight with Sir Germain. We did well. We held our line right until the very end, and our unit broke, and we ran. Thousands hmm. of men reduced to several hundred. It, it seems you needed a... Uh... Sasha was always kind of placed into it. As far as I was concerned, he, and according to Dobbin, he was just some sort of crazy guy out in the woods uh, that came to fight now and then. Wow, so that he was... are, I'm so glad that we have so many nice things to say about dead men. <laughs> he <laughs> says, who is this Dobbin you speak of? Some uh, retainer you kept on your Oh, your no. Uh, he was one of the first holders of my family. He uh, being Dobbin, the guarded of... of uh, I've never heard of this man. Surely you are jesting with me. I no, know no, everyone in Salisbury. Dobbin the Guarded, uh, son of Sir, Nel, Sir Melv, uh, then a Ken Rook, and then... You Sasha are committing Sturgeon. greatly to this deception, I see. Mm. Sure. He, he, was, um, he was friends with Sermon. Perhaps you know of him? Ha <laughs> ha! Sermon! Yes, I know of him. He killed a lot of Saxons. I tried to... I try to live my life asking myself, what would Sermon and Jesus do? <laughs> Most of the answers are kill Saxons. He gives you his famous bright white winning smile that has all the ladies swooning. Yes, I know Sermon quite well. I do, I do model myself after him. He was a man's man. He took what was needed. Yeah, all those border excursions I led against Silchester, I did them in his name. Uh, I'm glad you think so highly of my cousin. 
Oh, yeah, cousin. Yes, then you must be Sir Floors. Sir Colleen. I'm Floors, I have, got it, I'm, yes. I'm afraid I have not made much of a name for myself yet. The two of you are such jokers, blorps and blores. Oh, trying to convince me your name is otherwise. What is uh, Colleen's glory? It's 1,645. Okay. Never mind, I won't try correcting Sir Allen then. It's not worth 1,619. Oh yeah, Sir Allen has several thousand glory more than the rest of you. But as you might have noted, he's just about wrong on every single subject. <laughs> um, hey, he was right on Sermon. <laughs> Except for the fact that was Trump Hewitt he was talking about. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, he's wrong constantly. <laughs> he's Sir Allen. He's he's only eighteen this year. He's already been a knight for so long. Um, yeah. Is this the end of the conversation here where he keeps yeah. getting your name wrong or is there something else you yeah. want to do? He, uh, I got, I got his opinion. I'll ask around at a couple other people just to make sure that it's not something that he got wrong. Cause, he, uh, it, no, it's it, yeah, yeah. Like you check around with a couple noted older knights, like people who didn't fight in the war, who just like show up every year for the big feasts, and uh, yeah, some old salt beards give you the the lowdown that Alan is a complete and utter idiot and is wrong constantly. What about Jenna? Um, yeah, so you speak with, everyone knows that Jenna has been leaving the castle early this year, ever since the, uh, the snows have stopped falling and the melt began. She's been going out into the woods and lighting fires. Okay. I sent a quest. Just uh, seeking a secondary source of the information to make sure it's valid. <laughs> you you literally invented the investigation method in the 500 ADs. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Throughout history, all British detectives will refer to your method. Sherlock Holmes will be like, "It's time to sieve through this data," <laughs> and then he'll put on some gun. No, no, he'll be like, "It's time to sieve through this data." <laughs> Da, da, da. For some the, some reason, Sherlock Holmes and CSI Miami are the same thing. I, I like it better that the word sift has just yeah. become off of Siv's name. Just, yeah. yeah. Except, except Siv comes from sift. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll go and report this to the Countess. Fast and Furious 3 Tokyo Siv. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Can we call this a night right here before we move forward with any decisions for the year without Marcus, a.k.a. Anash? Yeah, we... sounds good. Make sure he gets a chance to set the agenda for next year. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't want everybody to be like, let's march to London immediately, and then Anash shows up and is like, what the hell? You killed everybody! <laughs> Who are we marching with? <laughs> My dog? <laughs> We are marching with Jesus now. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus is the only person at your side. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. How many knights do you think you're going to be marching with? You literally have like several hundred people left. Yay. Yeah, yay. <laughs> the awesome part is you put all of your money and resources into turning Salisbury into a fortress county. And you're constantly leaving it to go fight everywhere else. Yeah. It's going to turn mine. out that when you finally have to fight a defensive battle, it's going to be like 50 people in a giant castle full of siege equipment, and there's going to be an army of thousands outside. Yeah. <laughs> well, it yeah, would have should... been nice to oh, fight Oh, God. Someone of... just said Jesus is the dog's name. <laughs> yeah. It would have been nice to fight inside of London, at least. Because that's a defensive city with tanks. Yeah, a defensive city they control. No, but it would have been nice to fight inside it. It would have been horrible. I think uh, Devin Bradley Bradley really wants a shout out. <laughs> he just sent me another message. Probably because he's watching the stream. What does he want to say? I don't know. He just says, hey. 
<laughs> he's watching the stream. So, okay. yeah. Cool. Well, shout out to you, sir, or ma'am. Devin oh. sounds like a male name, though. So it it does. With that. All right. Are we good to wrap up here, then? Any final words people want to say after the literally horrifying 91% losses over the last year? Please never force me to be a battle commander again. I didn't force I'm you getting, to do anything, man. I offered, even. It, it, it's okay. In the, in the future, I'll, uh, I'll study up on past defeats so I know the mistakes of the many. <laughs> I feel like in the future of this timeline, in Google, typing British military victories will come up with British military defeats. <laughs> Did you mean British military defeats? We haven't had any victories. Not for a very, very long time. Uh, it's, it's no. You had a huge victory right before the infamous feast. True. It's only been about five years since you had a major military victory. No, but well, when we're searching it up, we'll never win ever again. Well, look at it this way. You have a small, mostly agrarian, non-coastal county. You took a whole bunch of peasants to war and decided to march them against one of the largest military forces in history. <laughs> at least current history, right? Yeah, like you marched on the largest occupied city and all of the British Isles and decided you were going to charge them. And utterly failed. That sounds about it, like listen, how it would go. It could have been okay if that passion roll hadn't failed so hard. <laughs> that passion roll destroyed your chances of doing anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything went downhill from there. On that note... I, I know people want to blame Aidwald, but really, they should be spitting on Sasha's name. Well, this is, Sasha died so soon Just on that Adol took everyone. over and took the took the defeat. Yeah. I'm saying I'm saying like Chad is blaming Adol. It's really Sasha's fault. But no one's going to impugn upon the memory of a senior honorable knight like Sasha. They're all just going to blame Adol, the coward. Blame Champion for dying. Blame Sasha for also dying but failing his passion. Blame uh, Adol for it. Blame Colleen, I guess, just for being there. Yeah. No one blames Colleen. Colleen fought like a warrior. I'll, I'll just say that uh, in the future when Sir Siv is able to help uh, with the strategies of battle, Sir Siv is also very loyal to his county. Uh, I'm just saying blame everyone. because To not fail was... fashions. Yeah. So, actually, we should probably figure out what the uh, glory totals are. For what? Oh, for... for who's most senior? I mean, that's easy, but for the secondary. Yeah. It's still, it's still going to be clean. Over true. Easily. I have nothing. What are you Marcus up? is going to be ahead of the both of them as well. Yeah, the glory totals are not that hard to, to compute at this point. Yeah. Marcus is senior Actually, to Colleen. I don't remember what Marcus was last time. Marcus is lower than you. Okay. You've been in more combats than he has. Okay. You, because, um, uh, what's his name? Your previous character died like two Aurelius, years. Yeah, yes. Aurelius died before the infamous feast. Mm hmm Yeah. Man, that was a horrifying moment in the campaign. This is worse than that, though. This is way worse, because you just got raked militarily. Absolutely raked. Like, if it was a Zen garden, it would be like... And there would now be, like, all sorts of swirly stuff. And the Buddhist temple monk would come out and be like... This cannot be saved. <laughs> Feng Shui here is gone. Yeah. Honestly, have we fully committed to the attack on London, or are we waiting yeah, to you, get that with a, you, a, a told, you gave the Countess your word that you were definitely doing that this year. Yeah. Here, here's the hilarious part, is that your county can't commit that many knights, and so the thing that you're best capable of offering is military strategy. Take a moment mm. for the audience to finish laughing. <laughs> we have no military strategy. <laughs> I agree. I right. disagree. We'll, we'll find it out. So, yeah, I think we're going to stop a little early here tonight, right about now. If you still want something to watch, you can go check out last night's Acquisitions Incorporated game. And if you haven't ever heard of Acquisitions Incorporated, 
You should go watch the first one, and then spend the next 12 hours watching all of the rest. Because last night was hilarious. Patrick Rothfuss and, and Scott Curtis were on point with the jokes. There was a Dritzo Erden sighting, too. It was pretty good. It was great. Alright, we're out. Any, fi any final parting words here? I'd like to give a shout out to YouTube Gaming, by the way. It was not terrible to stream it. Congratulations, YouTube. Parting words, anybody? Nope. Alright, we're out then. Have a good night.